Alright, <clears throat> let's do another Bernoulli example, or Bernoulli equation example, and see where we can use the Bernoulli equation, or the energy head. Um, here, we have a tank, and it's open up here to the atmosphere, right? It's an open tank, and we have this unknown liquid here, but they give us the specific weight of this liquid is 50 pounds per foot cubed. So the specific weight of this unknown liquid is 50 pounds per foot cubed. Okay? They say this height from the open end to here, the depth of the unknown liquid is height H. And then after the unknown liquid we have water. And we know the specific weight of water is 62.4 pound per foot cubed. All right? And the height of the water from the bottom of the tank up to here is 4 feet. And then the tank continues into a pipe. And it comes from this pipe up here, and then it goes up. And up here there's a free jet. So this, this, the weight of this water is, or the weight of this unknown liquid is pushing down, causing... Um, water to just shoot out from this pipe up here, which is five feet from the bottom of the tank, okay? So, <clears throat> they're asking, uh, determine H. What is H? If the velocity up here, the velocity of this water shooting out is 10 feet per second. So, the velocity is 10 feet per second, okay? So, let's Let's do a pressure analysis from point 1, this is point 1, this is point 2. So from 1 to 2. Let's uh, do a pressure analysis really quick. And remember our pressure formula is the change in pressure is equal to negative specific weight times the change in height. So if we set our datum here, very at the very top of the tank, right? We can say change in pressure is final minus initial, right? So pressure of 2 minus pressure of 1 is equal to negative specific weight of the unknown liquid, which is 50 pounds per foot, pounds per foot cubed, times the change in height. Remember, it's final height minus initial height. And if we set our datum here, we can say our final height is negative h, right? Because the datum's here, the zero is here. So it's negative h minus the initial height, which is zero, right? And we say, we said the pressure at one is equal to zero, right? Because it's open to the atmosphere. So the pressure at two is equal to here, uh, we get just 50 h. Right, the negatives cancel out, this cancels out, and you're left with 50 times h, so 50h. So that's the pressure at, at a 2. Okay, so now let's do one from 2 to 3. And point 3 we can define to be here. Okay, now you could have, now, um, we're going to continue on to 3, but you could have taken a streamline from point 2 all the way through the pipe up to this point. But, you know, we'll, we'll keep going just for a little bit of extra practice. So, the change in pressure is equal to negative gamma change in height. So, the final pressure, if we start at 2, is uh, P3 minus P2, right, final minus initial is equal to negative, now gamma of water is 62.4, right? And the change of height, well, if we had our datum here, we can move it here because we're doing a separate pressure analysis. Um, but our final height, which is 0.3, would be negative h minus 4, right? Or, we can actually move the datum point here, 
right? Because we're doing a separate pressure analysis. So forget this datum point. Let's start here. Let's set our datum point at point 2. So our final height would be negative 4 minus 0 because we moved our datum here, right? And we can we can only move our datum if we're doing a, a separate pressure analysis. You know, we can't if this this was a bunch of different liquids and it was a complex problem, you can't just move the datum point through the same liquid. And which we which we did it. We we have this liquid and then we have this liquid. Okay, so let's just continue on. Got sidetracked there for a second. So the pressure at three minus pressure at two. Well, pressure at two we found to be 50h, right? So we can plug that in. Is equal to um, <clears throat> we can keep. Actually, you know what? Let's let's not plug that in for now. Let's just call it gamma of water. So we get negative, negative, that's a positive, we get 4 gamma of water. Okay? Now if we solve for the pressure at 3, we get 4 gamma of water plus 50H. Yep, yeah, that's, that's what we get. And you know from physics a while ago that the pressures along the same horizontal line are, are the same. So if we call this pressure at 4, here at the bottom of the tube, we can say pressure at 3 is equal to pressure at 4, right? So now we found pressure at 4. Now, let's actually take Bernoulli's equation into effect. We'll call this point 5 up here where the free jet is, okay? And we, take, we can take a, a streamline from 4 to 5, since there's no major change in uh, liquid or anything, it's just water. And we can say from 4 to 5 that the energy head at 4 is equal to the energy head at 5, right? What that says is that uh, V4 squared over 2G plus pressure at 4 over gamma plus height at 4 is equal to same thing for 0.5, velocity of 5 squared over 2g plus pressure at 5 over gamma plus height of 5, right? And here we can actually cancel some stuff out. The velocity here is 0, right? Because the velocity at 4 is 0. The water is not moving, not really moving down there. So we can say that term is equal to 0. The pressure at 4, well, we have that. And the height at 4, well, let's... Let's set another new datum here, because we're doing a separate analysis, right? So if we had the datum point there, we can say, well, point 0.4 is equal to 0. Height of 4 is equal to 0, because that's, that's where the new datum is, right? And velocity at 5, well, they gave that to us as 10 feet per second up here. And the pressure at 5, well... This piece is open to the atmosphere, right? It's a free jet, and we know free jets always have zero uh, pressure. So pressure at 5 is equal to zero, and a height of 5. If we had our new datum here, we can say the height of 0.5 is 5 feet. Right, so we, so we know that, we know that, we know that. Let's plug it in. Pressure at 4, which is pressure at 3, which is all of this is 4 gamma water plus 50H over the gamma of the liquid we're in, and in this case we're in water, so that's also gamma of water, is equal to velocity of 5 squared, which was 10, right? So 10 squared, over 2 times gravity, which in this case is 32.2, uh, plus five feet, right? We can simplify this a little bit more and plug in gamma of water. Remember gamma of water is 62.4. So we get uh, here, we get 4 plus 50H over 62.4 is equal to 100, right, 10 squared, 
over 2 times 32.2 plus 5. And if we, you know, do the math, plug that into our calculator, we get the height is about 3.19 feet. That's our answer for H. That's our answer for how long uh, or how high this unknown liquid is.